Hello everyone and welcome back. Something a bit different today. We're going to give Castle Ravenloft a bit of a rest and we're going to do some solo hero questing. Uh, obviously the original game you couldn't play solo because you needed to have one uh, player act as the DM or to act as this young man here, Zargon. So we have ourselves a program that will take care of that. Let me just give you a quick glimpse of what this mod has to offer though and I'll also put a link to it in the description because it's just so good. Okay, we have all the miniatures uh, modelled from the original game and they're all modelled in 3D and they've been painted. So we have an orcs, a skeleton, uh, a zombie, all the goblins and again the goblins and the orcs are in all three different guises so you have the scimitar, the sword and the axe and the hatchet, uh, the sword and the flail and we have uh, the femur, uh, mummy, chaos warrior and of course the big man himself who unfortunately is not painted but he still looks just as awesome, uh, the gargoyle and all the miniatures they've also been painted Whoa. Uh, barbarian and the wizard and here we have their character sheets and we have some hit point markers or to be correct we have the body point markers uh, we have some sheets here to record all the treasure they find and if we scroll along we have again the same the dwarf and the elf uh, these are in two different oh sorry three different varieties I think you have painted uh, and unpainted but I can't change variety because if I do I'll also flip screens when I'm recording because I'm going through two monitors and you'll know why in a minute um, and we also have all of the furniture that's also been recreated in 3D and it's just awesome treasure chest, table, uh, tomb, the sorcerer's desk, torture rack, fireplace, cupboard, bookcase, weapon rack and the alchemy table and we have a very nice looking dice tower there with some flames at the bottom but we won't be using that uh, and because I'm in DM mode I can see everything if you were playing normally this would all be greyed out to you so we have all the quest books here and this mod has different effects for rain, snow and fog there's all the monster cards and all the expansion packs are also here and you can also create your own uh, dungeons on the fly as you can see it's just got everything again this is for the DM and here's the armory of all the stuff that you can buy when you saved up enough gold so let's go back to here and I will now show you the program we're going to use which allows us to play solo and let's just hope this works because I can't see what I'm recording so hopefully that's flip screen now and it's a program called HQGM which is obviously Hero Quest Games Master and it has the base game plus all of the expansions so there's no need for the DM anymore so what you do is you click file and then open and it gives you the list of all of the basic adventures and this has both adventures, the Trial, which was the American version, I believe, and the European version of the first quest, which was called the Maze. So we'll start with the Maze. We'll click Open, and then our character screens pop up. And you can change the order of play for the different monsters. Uh, different monsters, different heroes, rather. Mm. So we have the Barbarian first as player one, and then player two is the Wizard. Player 3 is a dwarf, and lastly, player 4 is the elf. If we go to the hero stats, you can change these if you want by clicking enable difficulty adjustments. So you can change the hit points, we'll keep it as standard. And in the options menu, you have sounds, um, so you get sort of death sounds when the monsters are killed. Fog of War, which obviously is, hides everything as you're playing, so uh, it keeps everything grayed off just like it would be in the real game and you can also enable this program to draw the treasure cards for you and you can choose from the barbarian pack the elf pack or the Morkar pack we're playing with the standard game so we'll just do normal then you've got the monster AI speed um, if this is set too fast then if we revealed a room and there was two orcs in here 
they would suddenly just appear there and there and you would be really hard to work out which orc moved to where or which monster moved so if we set this slow um, it gives you a better indication of which monsters actually moving we click OK and then it gives you the flavor text for the adventure that you're playing and this one is the maze uh, and it also shows you which is the wandering monster and you can see here it's the orc so if we then come up to here and click play quest it then shows you to lay out the board so you'd have the barbarian at the top the wizard at the bottom left in the top right would be the dwarf and in the bottom right would be the elf and it also shows you blocked markers here and there and along with the door placements uh, when you comes to revealing rooms you move your characters down and you right click here and reveal it so you've got order of play if we click play here it'll be the next player you go down to the wizard next player would be dwarf and lastly it would be the elf you click play again it goes back to the first one um, obviously you can't keep on flipping when I'm recording this because it become quite tedious watching the two screens changing over so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play just on this board uh, on the actual tabletop simulator and use this myself as reference as to what's going to appear and you'll have to trust me that what I'm putting out is correct so let's imagine if we flip back to the tabletop simulator we imagine that our barbarian who's in the top left hand corner we place him there and we find ourselves a door both doors we want open and closed the door was in the middle there so the barbarian would roll for his movement and we'll just say for instance he got 10 he'd then move down one two three four five six he'd then come outside that door and if we then flip back to the program we then move him down to there like that and then we'll right click on this and then click reveal this location and if we then click back to the actual game itself you can then translate everything that is shown uh, on the program back into the game itself so then the barbarian would move into this room like so let's say we move up to this door again we then go back to the program and move him to here and he would end his turn there now you've also got the ability within this program to do the usual things which are searching for treasure uh, searching for secret doors and searching for traps up here you can see this icon here is to search for treasure uh, pick a hazard card which just relates to pick a treasure card and we'll search for a, a secret door. Oh, we found a secret door. Okay. Where's the secret? Ah, oh, the secret door is here. You can barely make that out. Okay. And the lastly is no traps in sight. Now, we'll show you some combat briefly. If I reveal this room, I'm hoping there's a monster in there. Oh, there's not. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll move the barbarian down to here. And there we go. That shows you what happens as soon as you move into sight of a monster it shows you what monster it is so you can see it's an orc and it shows you all the monster stats so if we click back to the game we'll find ourselves an orc briefly and we'll place him here where he is on the program along with a secret door tile and a door We'll then place them here so the door is just behind the orc and the secret doorway if I can spin it around correctly is there and I'll lock that in place let's go back to the app again and if I then choose next player it will go down to the wizard next player again to the dwarf then down to the elf 
and when I play press play again it will then be the awk that moves uh, we've got it slow enough so you should see him moving across the screen now there he goes and this is the attack of the orc so the orc attacks the barbarian with three combat dice and as you can see he's made two successes with both the skulls so we would then flip back we'll then bring the orc up to here and then the barbarian has to defend with which i believe is two uh, defend dice yes it is so we then obviously get ourselves our defense die and we would roll for defense and we managed one so that's one defense so the orc still managed to do one point of damage to us okay and then we would flip again back to the program and we click OK and it's now the barbarian's turn so we then click back again I know it's a lot of to in and fro in and the barbarian has three attack dice so we would roll our three attack dice against the orc there we go and we've got ourselves just one skull and the program takes care of the defense of the orc I mean you can in theory run it yourself and just kill the monster each time but it's more fun if the if the computer does it so we go back again and we click on the monster so we're clicking attack monster and it will now automatically defend itself and you can see the orc defends with two combat dice and he got two hits so that is a foul for the orc so we then click naught to show you how many body points he's got left oops let's do that again shall we sorry uh, we had one hit he didn't manage to defend himself so we then put one there we go and you, you can see he is now blacked out so we would then go back to the program itself and then remove the orc uh, from the from the board so that's it so that's what I'm going to do for the next adventures I want to just give you a quick glimpse of how the app works I did consider flipping backwards and forwards but I think it's going to take so long um, it'll just add double the amount of time just to see what I'm doing it just duplicates everything so the next lot of adventures will be hero quest with some solo play I played this many many years ago um, so I can't really remember what's coming which is quite nice uh, obviously I remember this one for the minute I know for a fact that um, there's a secret door here and there's going to be an orc there but besides that it's all going to be a mystery to me so anyway I look forward to seeing you soon for some solo hero questing and thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you all later thank you